Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unicorn Games Terrain. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is a Let's Build video. What are Let's Build videos and what are they all about? Well, Let's Build video, I take a model kit and I'll show you guys how to put it together. If there's areas of concern on the sprue, as in things are numbered differently from the sprue to the instructions, I'll give you guys a heads up. If there's anything careful on the sprue, like the liquid you have to be careful of, like chains, pipes, you know, that sort of stuff. Again, I'll give you guys a heads up. If there's anything on the sprue piece you're trying to take off that looks like it should be taken off, but it needs to stay, I'll give you a heads up. If you're interested in models from army you collect or you want to collect, it's a busy way to help you. If you suffer with dyslexia or struggle with instructions in general, again, it's a busy way to help you. Some of you actually get models on eBay and, and uh, gifted models by friends, and there's no instructions for them. So again, if this... If one of those models that you have that way, I build it on the channel, then you see how to do it. So it makes life a lot easier for yourself. These let's build videos are primarily focused on helping you guys, no matter your age or skill level. So for all my regulars here, guys, I feel love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. Right, so you would have seen from the thumbnail and build a Necron Destroyer. Okay, uh, I've built the Locust Heavy Destroyers before on the channel, but this is one of the little the little guys. So, go through tools needed as, as usual. Mold line scraper. Now you can use a hobby knife or some sort of surgical blade because if you're using that, just be careful because it's, it's sharp. Let people in the house know you're using it so nobody scares you by accident. No cats jump up at you, no little hands are in the place. Clippers, which is all part of our kit. It is a plastic kit, so I have plastic glue. There is super glue at hand just in case. But I'm going to um I'm going to get the kit out and we're gonna have a look at uh, the sprues and everything else. Right, actually looking at the sprues is a lot simpler than I thought it would be. It's something you don't really see in, in many Necron kits. It's transfer sheets. I haven't seen them. I think I've got a few of these in a few different kits, but I haven't seen these in, you know, a lot of kits. Sorry about the camera flickering there because the lights are reflecting off the paper. Right, so what we do now, for everyone that's new, is we go through the sprue and we see what's what and ascertain what's what to make it a lot easier for ourselves. Now we've got underneath body, top of body. I don't know what these pieces are. They look relevant to me. Are they numbered? No, of course, nothing's numbered on this kit. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay, so we look at, let me knock in the camera again and again. We have front body, shoulder pads, hand. This is the gun. This is the head. Those little pieces might be the bits that go in the side of the gun, probably. Looks like spine. Looks like the arm that connects into the gun. It looks like he's joined that joins him to the actual craft himself. Now, reason I'm building one of these and I'm going to buy a pack of three. I was going to convert this into a Necron Destroyer um, Lord. I, I found this lovely piece of um, uh, 3D printed here. And the plan was to use this as a Necron, Overlord, uh, Necron Destroyer Lord. Maybe something like that or something in there. You know, something like that. I wasn't too sure. But I also thought when I first saw this to make it into a Catan Shard. Which is, you know, I have two of these printed, so I, I could do that with one of them. Now, it did come with, it meant to come with a head, which it didn't print properly, which is not a problem. And there's these two shoulder bits that come over the top here. And there's hands that came down, but the hands didn't connect into there. So, and that, as soon as I was cleaning it and slipping off the supports off, that came off. So I said, okay, that, that is good as, because I got the, the holes there for the, um, I'm just going if I want to do something like that. Now, I honestly don't know what to do with this guy. You guys to comment below if you have an idea, because I'm not going to put him on here. I'm just going to build this as, as it is, but I thought I'd share that with you. So if you have an idea, what, you know, what I should really do with this, I have two of these, like I said, to so comment below. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this bottom one, is what we need. And we need... This piece here. 
And again, none of it's numbered. So I'm just going to visually show you. I'm going to snip them, clean them, and I'll show you how they go together. All right, so this is very, very straightforward. There's a square pin a hole there. I feel a little bit of glue in there. There's a piece of the side there and a piece of the side there. This square pin fits in there, like so. And you can see it connects on the side there and on that side. Very, very straightforward, but I'm just going to drop a little bit of glue. Just glue so they stay. So the next pieces that we need are the two body pieces, front and back. So I'm going to snip those off, clean them down, show you how they go to... Well, I don't need to show you how they go together, look. Straightforward. Okay. So with this piece, that's the bottom of the chest. That's where the head goes up top there. So it just sits on top of that, so the two shoulder bits line up. And so the next piece we need is this piece here. This is very easy so far. It's actually one of the easiest necklaces I've done. There's a square pin. There's a square hole. So that just slots in there like so. Let's go in there. Make take note that this best be at the bottom. I'm going to leave this dry for a few minutes. The next piece we need is this piece here. I'm just be careful when slipping that off because it looks like it's going to have a weak point in the middle there. Right, so this piece, I put some glue in the bottom there. This glue's on there. I'm going to have to hold it for a few minutes, I'd say. And this piece clips on and clips on over here like this. See how that lines up with the bottom of it? So that glues on there. So I'm going to glue that into place. And I just notice that I have a little it's a sprue or side that I just haven't quite cleaned up. I'm gonna get those as well. Right, so I had a brain fart. I forgot this piece. This piece was meant to go on before the body goes on. So I'm gonna snip this down, clean this down. I don't need to show you how that goes on. It goes straight over the top here. This bit should line up with that front piece that I just put on. So whilst it's still drying, I'm gonna get this piece on. Right, so here's this piece on. This seems to be sitting right, there we go. Oh, I need to be a bit glued, I didn't realise that connected. I've only glued up this part, I didn't realise that was a bit connected, but I'm going to glue that bit on. But that's how it looks. And yeah, you're meant to put this piece on first, because I sort of had this piece started coming off, then as I was putting it on, so I had to put it back in. And but anyway, the next piece is needed are these two pieces two gun pieces yeah they're very straightforward so there's two pins there's a rectangular hole there so i'm going to clip them off clean them down glue them together right so the next piece needed is this very little piece you shouldn't have to show you it goes on it goes on the end here there's a hole there's a pin just sits on the end so i'm going to snip it clean it glue it on so whilst that's gluing, we're going to jump onto the, the rest of the body and do the rest of the stuff on him before we start putting the glue together, uh, the gun together, because the gun glues into him. And I don't want to be trying to glue it in, it's still wet and everything else. So the next piece we need is going to be this piece here. That's very, very simple. I put some glue in that ball joint there, under his arm there. And the, the other one, big piece at the bottom and one round, small circle piece at the top. The small one at the top goes in there. So it literally goes in like so. Because the arm 
that ball point then the, the gun glues into that. Right, so the next piece needed is going to be his head. We're going to snip it and clean it carefully and that just sits up on here. Okay. And the next piece after that, to show you this next, there's no need to mess around, is the other arm. And you'll be guessed the other arm goes on that side. Okay, it doesn't hold the gun, the gun's one, one armed, so I'm going to glue those two pieces in. Right, so while this is drying, the next piece we need is these four little rods. As I said at the beginning, they look a bit weird, I don't know if they're used, but they are used. We need those four rods. Right, so in no particular order, the rod just slides in there. Now they do have, let me show you this quickly, pick this one up, they do have little tiny pips at the end, but they're, they're meant to stay on there because it helps it just pop in. And so I'm going to do the other two on the other side, and then come back and show you how it goes into the man. Right, when you're doing it, you might want to leave this like this, for a couple of hours before you try and glue this on in case the arm doesn't pop off but that ball joint just sits in there like so now we have a uh a, a, a destroyer so i'm gonna hold on to that and sort that out for hold up a few minutes to it starts to set and there we have him. Absolutely amazing model. Now there's only one thing left to do is put the flying stand on. Now I don't do that now because I will undercoat, uh, black undercoat the top and then when that's dry I flip them upside down and undercoat the underneath. So just to give you an idea. That hole there, you take one of these, one of these pieces that glues in there. I usually glue it with um, super glue just to be safe. Then the bottom piece, there's a little pin and the flying stand as a whole, it sits in there again. I up your super glue on that just to they actually run super glue just around that little pin and then push it in. And then I put my, use my finger underneath and just give it a wipe so to make sure that I haven't pushed it too far through and to make sure that there's no super glue coming out of the bottom. So when I put it down to dry, then it doesn't stick to whatever it's on. So I give it a good rub. But I put the flying stand on afterwards. Now, in terms of this model and how difficult this model is, this model, I'm actually surprised. I've, I was thinking it's going to be, you know, a lot of bits. I thought the underneath would be one piece and then I'd have this piece one side, that piece the other side and, you know, really messing around with it. But I'm pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. Why they sell this guy individually and sell a squad of them for like double the price of the one guy, I, I don't know, but... If you can get your hands off your neck on playing, you get your hands on these guys, you know, grab the, the multi pack of freeze, well worth it. I'm just uh I'm just blown away how easy this guy is. Now, in terms of difficulty, I'd probably give him a, a 1.5. It's just so simple. Now, to give you an idea, scarab swarms are a one, nurglings are a one, ripper swarms are a one. Because it's so simple to build, this isn't that much more difficult. Even on the sprue, you look at the sprue first and go, "Oh, hold on." The most, the part I had the most difficulty with is the head, putting the head on. Now, don't get me wrong; this arm kept trying to fall down on me, but then that's because I didn't wait for that to dry properly. I think it's dropped a little bit more. Yeah. But yeah, apart from that, it's actually really, really straightforward. So I said to you uh, to wait until the arm to glue to dry because the weight of this is starting to pull the arm down. But the glue is starting to set, so it's not a problem. absolutely love this model. So guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you've seen this for the first time, hit the subscribe button because it costs you absolutely nothing. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything because they don't do less build painting videos every so often. 
well, there's one every Monday at least, and then sometimes I sneak another one in. There's terrain builds, which I need to get onto the next terrain build for you guys. There's battle reports. There's you know weekly Wednesday Q and A, and sometimes there's random videos here and there about different bits and pieces. Everyone smash the thumbs up button so it triggers YouTube to share. Uh, triggers YouTube share to share this video with more and more people. Makes this amazing community of you guys grow even more. Any comments or anything about this model? Check on below as always, guys. Until next time, thanks for watching. Take it easy.